What is media education? Well, I think probably a good point to start on this would be to say that media education means teaching about media, not so much through media. When people talk about media and education, they often have the idea of audiovisual aids, as we used to call it, you know, using television or using computers to teach a particular subject. Now, I think that's important, but when we're talking about media education, it really means we're teaching children to understand media, to be critical of media um, as things in themselves. So it's, it's the media as the focus, not the media as a tool to be teaching something else. Um, we have a long, long history of this in, in the UK, a very up and down history, certainly. Um, but we have media education established as a subject in schools. This has gone back to uh, really the 1970s, even the 1960s. You can find lots of examples of teachers teaching about, teaching critical perspectives on popular media. One of the big reasons for doing media education is that children spend so much of their time engaged with media outside school. If you think about how often well, not just young people but actually all of us how much time we're all spending on screens of various kinds particularly with mobile devices where often people say we're, we're always connected we're constantly connected we're constantly consuming and engaging with each other through media so part of the logic is just to say well look you know that's a reality of people's lives of young people's lives outside the classroom. We can pretend that it doesn't exist, if you like, but if we want to make school relevant to young people's lives, if we actually want to help young people to cope with that very intensively mediated, media-saturated world that they're living in, then we actually need to be teaching about this explicitly and, and systematically. So that's what media education is all about and I think it becomes probably even more urgent with new media so we're no longer just talking about film or television or, or the press or, or magazines we're actually now talking about media that are incredibly pervasive in everybody's lives media are not just something out there in the public domain they're actually intimately part of our own personal relationships, our own everyday lives, our sense of, of who we are, of our identity. So I think those are all reasons why we absolutely can't ignore what is going on. Schools, teachers really need to be engaging with it because it's the reality of, of young people's lives.